Exploring how fish adapt to climate change for conservation and aquaculture. With the global population rising, it is becoming vitally important to increase seafood production to meet the growing demand for healthy protein. However, overfishing has led to declines in wild fish populations across the globe, and climate change is having a devastating effect on marine ecosystems as ocean temperatures rise and water oxygen levels decrease. Fish farming, also known as aquaculture, represents a sustainable alternative to relying on wild fisheries for seafood. Unfortunately, aquaculture is also feeling the effects of climate change. This is because most aquaculture farms consist of pens or cages in coastal waters and are not protected from rising ocean temperatures and low oxygen levels. Dr. Kurt Gamperl of Memorial University of Newfoundland and Labrador studies fish physiology in order to understand the impacts of environmental stresses on both farmed and wild fish. His research aims to improve the sustainability of aquaculture operations and to inform the management and conservation of wild fish. To understand the impacts of rising temperatures and low oxygen levels on fish physiology, Dr. Gamperl's team studied a species called the sable fish, which is found in the North Pacific. As these fish have a low environmental impact and are a valuable species known for its rich buttery flavor, they are becoming a popular species to farm. When exposed to warmer water, fish usually increase their heart rate to increase the amount of oxygen transported through their blood. However, for sable fish exposed to low oxygen levels, the team discovered that their heart rate actually dropped when the temperature rose, reducing their ability to survive. These results show that living in low oxygen waters decreases the sable fish's ability to withstand high ocean temperatures or heat waves, which is a critical insight for informing sustainable aquaculture operations. One of the most important farmed fish is the Atlantic salmon. Therefore, Dr. Gampel's team is also examining how rising temperatures affect their behavior and physiology. They found that salmon can survive at temperatures of up to 21 degrees Celsius, even when exposed to moderately low oxygen levels. To better understand how salmon tolerate such high temperatures under low oxygen conditions, the team studied the efficiency of mitochondria, the powerhouses of cells, in salmon heart muscle. They acclimatized one group of salmon to water at 12 degrees and a second group to 20 degrees. Interestingly, salmon that had been acclimatized to the warmer water had improved mitochondrial function when they were later exposed to temperatures of up to 26 degrees Celsius. These findings show that salmon that are already acclimatized to typical summer temperatures are better equipped to survive heat waves than many other fish species. In contrast, when studying Arctic char, the researchers found that acclimatization to warmer water actually reduces the char's heat tolerance. This is likely because the mitochondria in their heart muscle cells are less efficient than those of salmon. This means that significant conservation efforts will be needed to protect Arctic char as climate change worsens. The team's findings on Atlantic salmon have also allowed them to identify several molecular markers of temperature and low oxygen tolerance in this species. These markers can be used to assess fish health and welfare in the aquaculture setting and to breed individuals with robust immune systems and high tolerance to environmental change. Dr. Gampel's research has provided key insights into the effects of climate change on the physiology of numerous economically and ecologically important fish species. Such insights are invaluable for informing conservation and management strategies for wild populations and for making marine aquaculture more sustainable.